Here's the finished product. I, I added this second, this third shelf right above the cabinet. And it's holding it well. These ones right here seem to look, seem to be failing. Ooh, I may have to use painter. Uh, oh crap, this is already gonna fall down. So the tape does hold it well, but apparently it's just too heavy. But I have this one right here. I'm gonna make more over here. And I might put light stuff on the shelves. I built that one in the very morning, in the afternoon, and this one. And this one right here. And I just finished cutting off this brand new door for the secret room for the cardboard for the big box. And you guys are wondering why I have two boxes right there. Well, because I just placed my sheet of cardboard and cut it right past the edge right here. And it actually works fine. You can see that I'm cutting out the bend part because this sticking on the piece of cardboard on top is not going to hold it well. It's just going to turn like that, just like this right here. It's gonna turn like that, and this door jam needs to be replaced. And if you so, here I don't have any completely big cutting surface, so then I have to take two boxes that are the same size or almost the same size and put that on top and cut it. And you can play right here. The reason why I took those out. It's because we play, just played a game. We played the life game, and I was gonna put it back, but then I started to cut on top, on top of the box. It actually worked fine. This cardboard is not that bad either, so I might buy more. <clears throat> I could replace the entire secret room with brand new cardboard, but this cardboard isn't that thick. And it's also not too, too strong. So I'll keep this one for now. And I'll just use Lord Bearing Beams to hold it together. And, <clears throat> and yeah, like this. And here's the old door. I use, I store my toys in this room. I have a lot of toys everywhere. I have these ones that I just purchased last month. I purchased this one in April. These just two weeks ago. Some hot wheel toys right there. Some down here. I need to replace this door. It's because it was made of several different pieces of cardboard. It, doesn't hold it up strong and I was gonna just replace this entire thing the entire frame with brand new cardboard but decided to just buy new cardboard from Walmart after I found out that it works fine and I'm just gonna put it here but I have to raise this up and that cardboard is right there and we use some of this cardboard to hold to reinforce this cardboard and we eventually put the one that I use I was up here and add a second layer behind it, hold it straight, add one layer right here because it's bending so the cardboard is strong enough but it's not long enough. So we have two pieces of cardboard that are going to want to, the, the corners of it, that's what happens, they start to come apart. And let's see these shelves. These shelves are, yeah, they're like, and yeah, it looks like they're gonna fall down probably tomorrow. Uh, I think I might, 
what I'm going to do is use Gorilla Tape and Saturn for the whole day. I don't care if this paint peels off because this paint is very old. But anyways, that will be it for this video. It's like 10.50 p.m. <laughs> like this, see, I have, oh, here's a tower. It's right there, and that's what go on top of there, but it's not done yet. And I just found this piece right here that holds the the saw, and I lost the parts for it a long time ago. Anyways, that's it. In twenty in May of twenty twenty, I saved some of the toys, but apparently most of them were just broken and had missing parts, so I threw those away. And I tried to salvage as much as parts from the Hot Wheel set, but. That's all I can find. Anyways, that's it. This video. Now there's one more video there of an update for that toy.